everyone, I'm Nicole Harry DIY and this is my friend Wendy. Wendy wants to mount her TV on this wall, but it has no studs in it. So we're going to show you together how to install a TV mount on a wall with no studs. Are you ready? Let's do it! Let's go! Just quickly before we get started, double check that your wall does not have a sliding door into it, making use of that cavity. And also just be aware of any electricals that you might come across or any plumbing. Now, if you need some help on figuring out the best mount for your TV, then listen up for this first bit. If you already know that and you've got your wall mount, you just need to know the info, skip to this section here. So with TV mounts, you can get either a fixed, a tiltable one or a full motion mount. Wendy wanted just a tiltable one. So we got this $26 one, nice and cheap. To make sure we got the right size of it, we had to measure in between the screw holes on the back of her TV and also measure how much it weighed. Okay, so we've measured the back and determined that this model is going to fit our TV. This is the model out of the box. So these two pieces are what goes on the back of the TV. And this is the piece that gets mounted to the wall. And you can see that there are little hooks here that go over the top. And on this model, the hooks go on the inside. And then this model has these little pull down things, which when you pull down, it clips under here. So that's how this particular model works, but there are different models. So you'll just have to check out your instructions to see the way that yours works. Now, here are the other things that it comes with. So it comes with a whole lot of different bolts and spacers and um, different things, washers, etc. We only need to use some of these depending on how we're going to mount it to our wall type. So for this, I've determined that this is the right size screw to go into the back of our TV without going too far in. There is shorter ones if yours need a shorter thread. These two other sizes are just if your holes in the back of your TV are different sizes. Now I'm also going to be using these spacers because on the back of Wendy's TV, we need to allow her to put a USB cable in so that she's got that space and it doesn't get squished against the wall. And this is a shorter spacer. There is some little brackets here which go on the inside of under here to make sure it's the right size hole. So you can see here that I am going to be using these because it's this middle hole. I mean, you want that to fit snug. So I'm going to be using these as well. And there's also these washers that I'm going to be using. The other thing that it comes with is a little level. I'm going to be using my slightly bigger level, but yeah, it does come with one. So if you don't own a level, totally fine. Pretty much every single one of these kits do come with a level. Now, because we have a wall with absolutely no studs in it, we've had to buy these separately. So these are toggle bolts and they have a wing. So, or toggle anchors, wall anchors, some people call them. They are called different things in different countries. I'm going to call them toggle bolts. So basically these go, this part goes into the wall. You close it down like this, push it into the wall and then screw it in. And this will lock against the back side of your drywall or plasterboard. Okay, you'll see that in a sec. I've also got a measuring tape, a drill, a screwdriver, Phillips head, a pencil, and a spade bit. So we actually need to make a hole that's the right size for this to fit into the wall. All right, let's go. We're gonna take the base off. You can either use a screwdriver or a drill. Now we can attach these to the back of our TV. Now this one says right and this one says left and this is my left hand but what they're meaning by right and left is when you're looking at the front of the TV so check that on your thing. I just looked at the inner claws and the inner claws go on the inside so that's what helps me figure it out. Now we want to figure out where on here we want this to go so I'm just going to kind of pick the middle in between here and here so aim for that one. Okay, now there's going to be a spacer going underneath. Then there's going to be this one at the right screw size and then our screw. Okay, so I'm going to go through this one, pop the spacer on the back and hold that in place. Drop that in, 
and then I can just hand tighten this one. And remember, we don't want to use a drill to drill this in because you don't want to go too tight and smash the screen on the other side. Now I'll just count down how many holes there is, do that for the other side, and then also put our screws in down here. All right, now Wendy, what we wanna do is measure from this hook to the top of the TV and determine what length that is. So 19.5 centimeters. Mm -hmm. All right, great. And then also measure how tall is your TV. Now I've got Wendy to lay down where she wants to watch TV from. And we're gonna figure out where we want the height of the TV to start and the bottom. So if I sort of, we, we aim for the middle first and then we'll do our 61 centimeters either side. So eye level. Yes. Right there. Mm -hmm. And then with that halfway mark, I measure my top and bottom 61 centimeters, half above, half below. Okay, so now we can mark our center point of the wall and we're also gonna mark down that measurement to the hook so we know where to put the mounting plate that mounts onto the wall. And that should be our center point that we wanna line up the center point of the top of the mounting bracket. Next, let's lay this on here so we can figure out where we want to use our holes here. So we just wanna make sure that we don't use these holes because that's too close to these. So we're gonna use these second from the end. I've got my mounting bracket. We're gonna bring this over to the wall and line up my center point with the top of this with that center point. Okay, and then I'm gonna pop my level on top. Make sure that's right there. I've gotta get my bubble in the center. Right there, second from the end. And I'm just gonna go one circle here, and one circle there. And what I also forgot to say is that we're gonna mark for the bottom holes as well. And rather than doing them directly below, I'm just gonna do them on the outer to give a diagonal. Apparently that's a little bit better. All right, so now we have to drill the hole for our anchor to fit through our toggle bolt. So here I've got a spade bit which matches the size of this size. Okay, so just pop that in our drill. Okay, there's one. Just go really nice and slowly so you don't push a big divot. But now, before we put them in the wall, we need to put them through here. So I'm going to undo this screw and I'm gonna put one of the washers that it came with through here and then pop this back on. Okay, and I'll just do the same for four of the toggle bolts. I've got my drill in my hand with the Phillips drill bit in. I've got my mounting plate with my four toggle bolts in. And just pretend that I've already got my other two bottom holes drilled as well. What I want to do is push this together, pop it through my little slot, push it in until it clicks. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. Push that in, hear the click, and push it into the hole until we hear the click. That one's in, and we'll just do the same for the other. All right, we've got our bottom ones in now, and we're just going to evenly tighten them up. So just a note here, in order to get the wing to start engaging and tightening up against the wall, you just need to pull on the mounting bracket towards you to create a bit of tension so that, that sucks all the way in. And just do these evenly as you go around, otherwise it can be a bit fiddly. And just before you tighten everything completely flat, just grab the level once again and make sure your bubble is in the center before hand tightening with a screwdriver. All right, do we feel nice and strong, Wendy? Do you think you could hang off that? Go rock climbing on it? I mean, no swearing on this channel. Heck yeah. <clears throat> Super nice. All right, we are ready to mount. I'm going to pull the little hooks forward. Okay. And remembering that we've got to pull these down once we get it on, click it in the place. Wendy's also plugged in her Chromecast so that she doesn't have to try and wiggle it in later. Alrighty, you 
put yours on the hook? Yep. Okay, you want to go and have a look around it? Mm -hmm. In the center again? Oh, uh, yes. Okay. Now, find our little things. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> uh, now we can adjust the tilt. So, do you want to go lay in your bed again? So you want to adjust the tilt between 0 and 8 degrees to be where it's suiting her eye line. And then all the way in here, there are some screws. You need to get a screwdriver down in here, tighten that up. You might need to grab a nice long screwdriver to help you out and tighten those up. And you don't actually need to tighten those up. You can just have it here so you can kind of tilt it when you need to. And we are done. Ta -da! Wendy's TV is securely hung on the wall that has no studs. Job done. <laughs> if this video was helpful to you, I would love it if you could drop a like and also a comment down below. It really helps my channel. You can also subscribe if you love DIY content. If you want to give me a little bit of extra help, then I do have a buy me a coffee link. Just know that I won't spend it on coffee. I will spend it on power tools. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to share this video and goodbye.